hey guys welcome back i hope you guys already know that uh, in this section we are going to start with feature engineering so you already might have guessed out what exactly is feature engineering and what's the need but for people who haven't still got the idea or if you have jumped out to this section let me give you a better insight on exactly what is feature engineering and what exactly a data scientist do most of the time so feature engineering is the process of transforming raw data into features that better represent the underlying problem to the predictive models now i know there's a bunch of theory into this but let me clear it out more to you let's understand what exactly is feature in machine learning a feature is an individual property or characteristics of a process under study to effectively train and calibrate algorithms choosing appropriate features is a very crucial step so let me so this guy this guy over here has three features he has age he might have a name and he might have how many time how many hours he is running Okay, how many times he run? So run by R, just run it out. Okay, how many hours he is running now? So from this three features, that is age, name, and hours run. Now these are the three features that belong to that particular person. Features are the fundamental elements of a data set. So in a data set, let's say we are creating a data set for this human being. So we will be having three columns, age, name, and hour of run. So for each person, so let's say person number one, we have age 19, name is X, hour is let's say two hours in a day, he is running. So again, there's one more person whose age is 25, his name might be Y and he's running 1.5 hours. Same thing for three, someone is a 40 years old, his name is Z and he is uh, running for I guess 0.5, that is 30 minutes somewhere. So that's the three things that you see over here. These are the features in the data set. So the columns are the features. Let me write it out. Columns are the features. And row is the data. So your rows our data okay so for each data you have different terms of feature but what happens sometimes is let's say in number four we have a person whose age might not be given but his name is a and his uh, let's say our running is almost four hours so this feature is missing over here for this we need feature engineering we need something to correlate with that things we want to see which are the features that are important for all of these feature engineering is needed it is the process of transforming your raw data into features that represent our machine learning model much better and it also gives us a much better insight on it feature engineering involves leveraging data mining techniques to extract features from raw data along with the use of domain knowledge so we need a bit of data mining techniques and a bit of a domain knowledge to jump into this feature engineering is useful to improve the performance of machine learning algorithms and is often considered as applied machine learning so whenever you have heard about applied machine learning that time we are just referring to feature engineering so this is known as applied machine learning okay features are also referred to as variables or attributes so the columns that i have told you in the data set that is age name and hour all of these are also named as variables or you might name as attributes but for as of this course i'm just going to refer it as features as they affect the output of the process so from this features your machine learning model is going to predict if this guy is uh, healthy if this guy is fit or not okay feature se selection involves choosing a set of features from large collection selecting the important features and reducing the size of the feature set makes computation in machine learning and data analytics algorithm 
more feasible. The feasibility of the algorithm increases. Feature selection also improves the quality of the output obtained from the algorithms. Now, let me show you one of the things that you might find much insightful. So this is how a data scientist like me, most of the times uh, of, of our time looks like. So for 3% of our time, let's say out of 24 hours in a day. So for building the training set, it only takes 3% of our time. For cleaning and organizing data, it takes 60% of our time. That is feature engineering. This is what we know as feature engineering. Creating the data set, creating the clean data set takes a lot of time. Collecting the data set is again quite easy and we can do within 20% of a fraction. Mining data patterns, it totally depends. Okay, all of these, what you see, okay, all of these are part of your feature engineering, mining data for patterns, that is feature selection. Feature selection. All of these are part of your feature engineering. At the end, comes our machine learning algorithm where you execute your machine learning algorithm. So your feature engineering is something which will be taking a lot of time. Once you have cleaned out your data, machine implementing machine learning algorithm is quite easy when you have a better understanding of what kind of problem you are looking into. So implementing machine learning will be very much easy. And at the end, this is where we compare our score, like how much the accuracy is, if it is 90% accurate, my model is how much accurate or what's the error rate. So we all discuss about it. The main takeaway from this is that most of the time we take, that is, let's say 80% of our time, almost 80% of our time, we kill in feature engineering. So this is something that you should be knowing. When you are dealing with a real life scenario, the data is very bad and you might have just guessed it that people are tend to make different kind of data and we have to scale it up in a bit. For this, we need statistics. So if you know statistics, here is where you are going to implement it a lot. We are going to see into skew data. We are going to look into a bit of P values when we are selecting features, then G square. So I'll just give a glance of it because this is more of a machine learning course, not of a statistics course. If you're not well versed with statistics, you might just go to our other course of statistics that we have been providing. So let's look into the different techniques of feature engineering that we are going to learn in this course. So we are going to learn about feature engineering. Okay, for this one, we are not going to learn in this section, but in the linear regression section, that is when we start with implementing our machine learning algorithm. So in the linear regression, section we are going to learn about feature selection so what are the features that will help us to build our machine learning showing this right now will not make much sense so let's skip this to a different section but other than this these five will be taught in this section itself so handling missing data so your data might be missing some places i will show you how to handle those handling outliers binning encoding and feature handling scaling all of these five things will be taught in this section so from the next section, we are going to start with handling missing values. What are missing values and, and how to execute it? 